Hello everybody, welcome back to Yenis Cake Tips. Thanks for joining me today again. I'm going to show you in this tutorial uh, my favorite sugar figurine, a horse. I will do that with my signature two-piece joint body method. So let me explain you that what I mean. So when you have a, a sugar paste and you can model an animal just having the whole body in one piece. But what I do is I separate the body into two parts, right and left, and let them dry so that even the body is in the same position, but the legs will be different position. We have a, like a, a kind of like a standing animals, it's possible to do that way, especially you choose to make something realistic instead of like a more cartoonish. So, okay. So uh, it will be a small and almost, as I said, instantly standing figurine, which cannot be done with any other medium than the pastillage, unless you prepare half body parts out of gum paste and wait till completely dry, which means overnight or more, and you have to also add some more extra icing sugar inside to make the gum paste much more firmer. So these are the needs, what we need to do this horse. I have a scale because I like to give you a recommendation to put the parts on the scale and measure exactly what I'm offering you. And I have here a piece of platform that means nothing just will be just holding the, the body on top. I'm going to make also a kind of grass part on top here to make sure that we can hold this and bring it left to right. All right. So I have my drawing here. Uh, the, the actually right side of the horse, which is left here, and then left side, which is right here. So we're going to make it, uh, make it like two pieces together and join together. Uh, as you realize, this is a bit frontal, this is a bit backwards. I will even push a little bit more differently, doesn't matter. And I have whole body over here. That is the 35 gram. The 5 gram is the legs, front legs, because they make the, this is the back leg, so we don't have to worry about the back leg here. And then the head also, 5 gram. I'm not so sure we can achieve that with 5 gram, but if not, I'm going to change the numbers anyway. So it's going to be like a, a kind of beige color, and then I will use the white gum paste to make the the mane and the tail and then sort of like a front side of the hair also. All right. I have a small little ruler here and then uh, that is probably, I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to use this part. So this flat part I'm going to use and I will have my, uh, my distal, maybe you have seen it before, it's just a pen tip without the insert and also a piece of uh, skewer with a bit of like blunt front and uh, a little bit of aluminium to give some textures to the grass and then water and uh, brush. Oil I use always instead of the starch or icing sugar because it makes it much more easier with the pastillage and just a few pieces of white chocolate to do the gluing and knife and this scissor of course that's very important you will see it later on so let's get start doing it i have my pastillage here uh, when i look at here this 35 gram each side of the body 70 gram another uh, 10 gram here 80 gram and then another 5 gram 85 gram so uh, 85 this is almost 200 grams, so we can, it's enough. Um, it is already in a kind of good condition because I just need it about one hour ago, but I'm not happy with the, with the sort of like a softness. I just put it back in the microwave for just a few seconds. Right? Because we want to standing this horse quickly, it's a bit warmer condition of pastures. It will be better, but it makes it much difficult because uh, it will be dry very quickly, all right? So that's good. Just have, I feel already a little bit warmer. All right. So uh, give a good knead. That's great. So it becomes like a quite soft, but partially soft and partially hard. So you have to give a good knead. Okay. Instead of weighing two times 35, I just make it one times 70. Well, 72 gram. <laughs> okay, just take the two gram off. 71, still good. Okay. So this part, you have to really watch very carefully. Make this approximately two piece, equal. Place this one here. Watch this, give it a good knit again. Especially oil surface of the table, it will help. First bowl, and then we make a sausage. 
It is like you're holding the neck of the horse and then the back uh, leg of the horse and you just stretch it like this, you will get something like that, all right? So uh, this one here, that's already done. And then we have back leg. Let's check. Hmm, pretty good. Then what we do is this. We place this over here, all right? And now push it down a little bit, only about the neck part, all right? Nothing else, all right? Just like this. And then instead of doing this, we just lift up and turning like that. So we create that shoulder part, all right? We just publish um, a carousel cake in yenersby.com. It is really nice, and I use the same method to make the like turning carousel with the uh, battery power. And also there's light inside. This is, I, I want you to go and check this picture at least, you know, if you don't want to be a member. So I just put like this, like that. See that same thing I did, lift up and then turning. And then bending like this, give a good pinch here for the back muscle here. And after that, what we do, we just put the front and then make it flat like this. So that's pretty much of what I'm looking for, is there happened, all right? And then I like to put this one more in the front, a little bit front, and this one I'm gonna put more backwards, all right? So this is done. Let me do it one more time for the back, for the other side, so you can understand better. Because of the uh, posterior is a little bit warmer than room temperature, it will get very quickly some cracks, but it doesn't really matter, all right? Very fine. So. Give it a good knead, do this around, first the stitch around the this size, and then extend to the neck part, like that, correct, and the other side, a little bit oil. When you're working with pasta like this, you don't have any second to, to, to waste, you have to do it constantly and promptly. All right, so again, push it down. When I push it down, I mean like this round and then sharp like so, half round, all right? And then instead of this, I lift up and turn like this. So create that shoulder part, push a little bit here. So there's a kind of cavity that we can put the front leg in there. And then same thing again, don't go down, up and then like this, all right? Like that, so you can create this part again. Turn, pinch, turn around like this, and then like that, and like that. So look, this three finger does this job, okay? So what we said, that is more in the front, that's more on the back. Make sure that what you have in this leg part is in the level of what we have planned, okay? Also, the body part has to be like roundish, okay? So this is actually, pretty much what we're looking for. Now, what I want to show you now is something. If I have this horse attached to a kind of like uh, a bar that's left and right for like, let's say, let's say like a uh, carriage or something, because I have a holding point, I'm not gonna worry about much, but now I need to have a three legs position like this, the horse can stand. So that's why I want to lift both, both the back leg up so we can have the back leg separate so we can standing on three legs, no problem, but not the front leg. Front leg will be straight, and then the back leg has to be straight, a little bit up, open, all right? What I mean is this. You take a bit of pasta dash here, all right? And then just give it kind of like a sharp edge like this, okay? And then cut like that. Put this one here, understand? Put this one here and this one there. So that means, you see, this is already one centimeter lift up, one centimeter here, both together, open up, two centimeter is already more than enough to, to make the horse standing, all right? So before it's uh, too late, uh, you have to go back looking from front, make sure that you're on the right position, all right? All right, let's do the front legs now. Okay, five gram for each leg is good enough. 
but I think I have to make the head six gram, but I will change the number anyway for you. So five gram each, again, a little bit of oil here. This time you can knead this in the hands, not on the table because it's quite a small piece. Round piece like this. Okay, just make it like one side thin, one side thicker. Look at that. Right. That's quite good. So this is what we do. We push this one first for the knee, right? This part. And after that, and then holding like this. Now pushing in the front like that, in the front like that, and then pinch the front like this. Look at this. That's just right. It's not the really most wonderful, you know, the horse leg, but it's already good enough, all right? So this like this. And then while this uh, pasture is still soft, put a little bit of water here, just a little bit moisture. All right, after that, take this in the hand like this and push it, push it here and then make sure like it's sitting properly on that. Is this already hardened, you know? right? And then get this one also organized in the right position. That's it. Now I'm gonna do the other one. Very important to give a good, really neat. So when you're working with pasture, you always get some of these residues like this. Better to have like a, a wet towel and then the dry towel here to make sure that tabletop, your fingers are all smooth. There is no sugar bits sticking there. Okay. Bit of oil. Okay, again. Look at that. So, first turn, like that. So that means this way, all right? Here, this way. And second turn, the knee, all right? And then the third one, like this. And this piece, this piece is again, uh, same as this, front and pinch. I think you have to try a couple of times to get this one there. It's probably hard to understand one time by or like just watching the video but you have to just try it first couple of them and look nicely to that that part again and again so you can understand make it wet but not sort of like a very wet you know just a little bit moisture and this will be already good enough to stick this one here that's it see look most important things when you have this, this two, two body part, that part, the upper part is a very similar. So these parts are a bit back and forward, a bit up and down, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so that is already done. So we let this one dry for a while and we're gonna make the head once we join the body. So you don't have to do anything now, let this one dry. So I'm gonna do now the grass part so we can sit the horse on the grass. Okay, I just find this piece of sugar, I, I think it's a gum paste, it may, might be fondant, doesn't matter. Uh, it's about 65 gram. Just give it neat. And that's the platform I like to use. Let's make it something like oval shape, all right? Give a little bit of, sort of like, turn you like this. I mean, this is just nothing because when you're doing a cake, I'm sure you may just do something else. This is only for me to to put something, all right, okay. Put it over here. Aluminum foil, crumble, like that, okay. And then just do this to have a kind of like, bit of texture like this. That's it, we're ready. To be honest with you, I already left this uh, horse pieces, the body pieces for half an hour on the table. It's already hard enough. Uh, it's not completely hardened, but it's hard enough that I can join together and put it on the base that uh, will be holding. All right, so what we do now, we turn this around like that, and I put a little bit of uh, white chocolate here, because white chocolate is so instant, so it will hold it nicely together, all right? Just like this, and make sure that this part is symmetrical. It's like just fitting together nicely, and then when you're also putting over here, make sure that just the body parts like if it's just differentiated a bit, make sure that the legs are like straight, all right? Like this. I think I'm happy with this one like that. I just let it be dry for a while, OK? 
Okay, just set for a while. Not dry, but set for a while. Okay. All right. In the meantime, what I like to do, I like to produce a soft pastillage, uh, like a creamy pastillage, so you can say, uh, and then just adding a piece of pastillage and water. All right. Just chop a little bit pieces now first. All right. Usually I use uh, royal icing, but if I use if I have a white pastillage. I will have a white royal icing, which is quite easy to match the colors. But now as I have like beige color pastillage, I just don't want to fiddle with the pastillage, uh, the royal icing now to make the same color. I just add a little bit of water to the pastillage and make it liquid or not liquid, but sort of creamy. All right. Just add a little bit like this and then use your knife like that. So it's already sticky. Okay, a little bit more. All right, look at that. It's already getting sort of like there, right? Like this, like this. As you can judge also, we need more water inside here. Okay, but don't add water all in once because you cannot go back. You have to add more pastures inside. So just go a bit by bit till you're satisfied with the texture so you can Pipeable condition. Look at it. All right, that's I'm pretty happy with this one. Not so liquid, not so, not so hard. There will be have problem to pipe, so that's already good enough. I have my little cone here. Pick up everything, all in once. Put it inside here. Take it out. And just do this and stick that with the, with the sticky tape. All right. Okay, now that has to be clean, of course. Be very sticky. There and there. So all what I like to do now, I want to pipe some uh, this soft pastillage and cover that joining parts. But naturally, this is this is a crack over here. You don't have to join this one, but over here in the front, etc. All right, and then holding very gently because the legs are still not very very dry. So I like to make it just gently. All right, just pipe a little bit here, leave it on the top. Okay, then. Go around, pipe here. At the lower part, you don't have to actually pipe it every time, but I just want to do it for just teaching purpose. All right. Normally, I don't. I don't do it underneath. That's it. Now, take a bit of water with a flat brush and brush this off like this. Make it like nice and level. Look at it. Because we're joining pastillage with pastillage, when everything dries, you cannot even realize that it's already joined together. Right. There. Even that if you have some cracks, you can still fix it with that. All right, turn around. And here also. Even that up here, you realize that some parts are not really symmetrical. You can just fill up with this and just put some water on it and you will get pretty good shape after that. That's it. We're done. So look at this. It's at the moment it's differentiated because of the shine, but when it's everything dry, you will not really see the joint parts. Okay. All right. Now, what I like to do, while the horse is in my hand, I'm just going to put a little bit of Chocolate here, a little bit chocolate here, a little bit chocolate there. All right? Just make sure that's enough. All right? So get the excess off. And I would like to put it on like that. And then just wait for a while till it's set. That's it, horse will stay. 
That's it. Let this one dry before we continue. So I wait a little longer to make the just the body a bit more firmer. So having said that, I'd like to remind you something. I have an experience uh, quite a few years with pasteurage. So I know how to handle, I know how to hold, I know how much the pressure I can put in uh, if I add things on top of it. So at this stage, this figurine is not 100% dry. So uh, because I know how to handle it, I can achieve the continuous work here. But if you don't have much uh, experience like mine, so what you have to do, I like to recommend you that those body parts, you do it a day before. Even though I said we can do it instantaneously standing animal, but not really taking risk is not worth it. If you need to have uh, something urgently, you can try. But if you, if you have time, just do the bodies a day before. Next day you join together, there will be no problem at all. So another thing is, as you realize, I go a bit more adventurous today. I put three legs uh, touching on the base. Uh, the back leg I separated, the front leg I keep it in the middle. So we have like three uh, spots that holding the body in the right uh, balance. So if you want to make it also even stronger, also make the front leg straight like this, but a little bit more, of course, different direction. Use also these ones underneath these front legs. So you have a four legs, uh, sitting on that uh, sort of like rectangular shape, there will be no po also less problem to hold the body in standing position. So let me continue now uh, with the with the head. So I have here uh, again. I put this in the microwave another few seconds to make it nice and cream, nice and sort of like soft, pliable. All right, because pasta diash, when you leave it on table, it gets harder and harder. I said over here five gram. Let me try five gram is good or not. Otherwise, I'll recommend you another amount. So this is seven gram. I think it's too much. And five gram is six gram. I like to try six gram. I will change the number again so you have the right information on the printout. All right. So again, freshly give a need in your hand because it's such a small piece. You don't have to do it in the, on the table. All right, just like this. And you have to really watch this very carefully because it's very important. Very simple if you follow the rules, right? So, don't be happy with a little kneading. You have to really need use your body heat to get the pasta nice and pliable. All right, a little bit of oil here. All right, give it another few turn. All right, and then. First, you do the round piece like this, okay? Then after that, once this one just nice and round, just do that to make it the, the head a little bit more bean shape, all right? And after that, you just, you just flatten this area, all right? And then turn the, this cheeks down. So as you see that, this is her hole here, and then the cheeks down. All right, now, so far so good, and leave and place it over here on your this finger, all right? And you need a scissor to cut them out, just like this, and then push it down and also open the mouth a little bit. Give a bit of like, sort of like a wild looking sort of like mouth is really, really open, all right? And after that, what we do, you need to have a, something like this, a flat. So one push over here and one push over here. So the eyes, sockets, appeared automatically, all right? So make sure that you don't lose the, the chips while you're doing that. And after that, as you have realized, I use often the, this pen tip, just push it in like this, and then another push like that, the eyes appeared. And then one more, one more touch with this, to create that uh, the eyes realistic, all right? And after that, you can also use this one to get the nostrils done. Then, touch a little bit of chocolate here, just to hold it in the right place. And then, now this time, I don't want to push the head in the front, I want to make it a little more sideish, all right? Just like this. Because the pasta is still nice and soft, I can push into each other nicely. While I'm pushing it, I'm holding the other side, so I'm pushing the whole body back. All right. That's it. 
at the body already there and then the head already there. Next thing we're going to do, um, we're going to create the mane and the tail. Silly me, we have to uh, do the ears first before we continue with the mane and then the tail. So ear is very easy, just to cut a small piece like this. And if you do mistake, you can start again, it's a very, very short step, all right? Just do a round like that. And then both sides sharp, just like this, both sides sharp. And then place on the table. like that, and then something round like this. And then, just have to cut one like this, and one like that. This piece, we don't need it, okay? After that, we just put a little bit of water here and there just make it a bit more moisture here all right and then something like this will be quite handy place this here and glue it on this side and on the other side That's it. So now we can do the mane and the tail. For the mane and the tail, I will use the gum paste. Why I do that? Because gum paste gives me more time to give a detail. Most of the time I use pastillage, but for the, for the training purpose, for the teaching purpose, I recommend you to use the uh, gum paste for these parts if you don't have much experience with the pastillage, all right? So, it's because gum paste is more forgiving, it gives you more time to give details, all right? So, give a bit of neat, again, and then make it like a sausage shape, and then bend like this, and push. Push so that this part is really nice and flat, nice and thin, touching really end up to the zero thickness here, but more thicker on the other side, right? Like that. Now, once this one happened, right, what do you do? I like to make it a bit more flatter. Like that, all right? Now, watch this. I use scissor. Cut thin stripes, but not sort of every one is the same thickness. I just go thick and thin, a very fine, a little bit more bigger piece, and something small again. So just like this. And then once you reach that certain size and you cut the whole lot, all right? Now, I like to do, just use the water behind here. Water also more forgiving because you can, you can just like attach and remove if you don't like the position. Chocolate will not gonna do that, all right? So I like to add this here right in between the ears, yeah. See, when I, when I put this on like this, it's not really happen like a, the wave and the wind and everything. I just give a bit of my motion here, just separate one and then just put a bit left and right like this and like that. So look at that, it gives you like a little bit more sort of like a, a motion, right? a wind motion. All right, this is already there. Now, most important also, very important, not the most important, the, the front hair. The hair just coming in between two of two ears. So I do the same thing again, do this and then cut, something like that very small, and also give a little bit of moisture in the front here, like that. And if you feel like that is not really the right size, cut again one more time, like that. And put this here. 
Yeah, that gives a really, really good, good looking if I have this front hair. Right. Okay, let's do now the, the tail. Very, very, very easy. This time I'm going to use different technique. I'm not going to use scissors now. I'm going to use the, uh, the knife. Okay. I want to have a really nice big one. Let's see, like this. This time I'm going to make both sides thin. So just now I did for the main one side thin. Now this time I'm going to make both sides thin. See like this. Okay. So thin and thin here. Now I'm going to use scissor, nice and clean. Just slice it. But be careful, I'm not slicing all the way. I'm using that part around this middle area. So when I'm pushing down, it is still an attached piece over here. It doesn't really release it all the individual segments separately. Right? I'm just cutting the end bit. Time to time clean. Once I'm happy with what's happening, I can just remove that part. It doesn't matter. Okay. And also like take this one like this. And then cut this part one more time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put a little bit of white chocolate here for a join. Okay. And a little bit of water here. Just this area. Then this part is just has to go like nice and strong. And then once the one this is holding, you can also just give a little bit more also motion like this. All right. That's it. As you realize, I didn't use any kind of mold, any kind of special tools. That is already good enough. All right. Can still put a bit of water here to join this part together. So far, so good. So my little newborn horse is already standing, just like in real life. As you know, that little ponies always, when they're born, after a few minutes, they get up. So that is what's happened with pastillage. All right. So you can use this figurine for many different ideas, like. You can use it for carousel cake. You can use it for a, a farm cake, part of the farm cake, as it horse is always in the farm. And then uh, you can use it for uh, attached to a little uh, carriage, a different type of carriage. You can make really realistic figurines with that. All right. So um, this two-piece joint body method, uh, you can use also for many other animals, either standing or sitting. Uh, you have a lot of samples. Uh, if you join to yenesway.com, I have just recently finished my carousel cake very much in detail and I have my horse and carriage cake, uh, horse and carriage figuration, not the cake. Uh, four years ago I done it and it is still the very very popular and uh, many other ones you can find in inersway.com. So that is all from me guys this week. Thanks so much for joining us in our channel and uh, please like, share and subscribe to stay tuned with us. God bless you all. Until my next video, bye for now.